Tonight, a new leash on life thanks to one family. Their business that started as a hobby now helps thousands of animals every year, one by one. They're getting our beloved pets back on their feet. Sam Lamp's dachshund Pepper can't move her back legs. Look at you go. She's such a good girl, and all she does is look at me with these little sad puppy eyes, and I just <laughs> I can't stand it. They came to Eddie's Wheels in Shelburne Falls, Massachusetts, so Pepper could get measured and fitted for new wheels. Look at you go. Look at the baby. Oh my God. Eddie Grinnell was a mechanical engineer who decided to design wheels for his Doberman 27 years ago when she could no longer use her back legs. The idea took off and he started his own business with his wife, Leslie. Took out more mortgages than we believed possible, but the banks loved us too because the bankers all had dogs. The couple now has a 5,000 square foot workshop and 17 employees. This was supposed to be a retirement hobby. So, How's that, that working out for you? Yeah. I consider it a failure as a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> there are many reasons dogs lose mobility. Eddie's Wheels looks at each case and is now making almost 2,000 carts a year for animals all over the world. It's kind of gratifying to see a dog drag itself in, sad and depressed, put it in a cart, it smiles, wags its tail, and runs off. That's why the family also adopts disabled dogs like Webster, born without front legs and Bo, paralyzed as a puppy. They're motivators for dogs like Pepper. This is amazing. Who get back up and enjoy rolling in a whole new way. Look at you go! Yay! Go Pepper. The business is expanding. They just made carts for a pig and an alpaca. The price ranges from $400 to $1,200, depending on the size of the animals and how many wheels they need. That video, oh. I love it, and the dogs are so excited They're after they so get their cute. wheels. Yeah. So cute. Video of the That's day. Awesome idea. Yeah. Ahead at 430.